Welcome to By Stony Paths, following the way of the cross, using scripture, symbols and time for reflection as we journey with Jesus through Holy Week. Today is Monday of Holy Week, and our Gospel reading is John chapter 12, verses 1 to 11, where Jesus has a meal in Bethany with Mary, Martha and Lazarus, and Mary anoints his feet with perfume. The symbols you're invited to use with today's meditation are the stone, and an incense stick or perfumed handkerchief or cloth. If you don't already have them with you, I suggest you pause at this point, find them for yourself and then restart. I invite you now to settle down, sit comfortably in your space and let yourself relax and be attentive to this time of prayerful meditation. Let yourself stop. Let your eyes gently closed and become still and a bit more relaxed. Take some deep breaths. Perhaps shrug your shoulders, just loosen up and let yourself become still. And as you still, take time to be aware of God welcoming you to this time. Welcoming you as you are becoming present to be with Christ in today's meditation. As you settle, become aware of how you are feeling. How is it to come to this time today? Do you come with hopes or concerns? Notice your desire to be with Jesus in this time. Tell God what you are noticing and ask for God's grace to help you as we engage. John chapter 12, beginning at verse 1. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, the home of Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. There they gave a dinner for him. Martha served and Lazarus was one of those at the table with him. Mary took a pound of costly perfume made of pure nard and anointed Jesus' feet and wiped them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, the one who was about to betray him, said, Why was this perfume not sold for three hundred denarii and the money given to the poor? Jesus said, Leave her alone. She bought it 
so that she might keep it for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. This meal in Bethany becomes focused on how Jesus is or isn't treasured. Brought out by the action of Mary, who in anointing Jesus' feet arouses the judgmental reaction of Judas and draws out a response from Jesus. Mary does something extravagant and unrestrained, pouring expensive perfume over Jesus' feet and then wiping them with her hair. She offers a very physical and emotional treasuring of Jesus. Perhaps foremost in her mind is gratitude for raising her brother from the dead. None present could miss the aroma filling the air. While all may not have seen what she was doing, the consequence of her act of appreciation was out there, filling the atmosphere of the room. Take time now with the fragrance that you have brought to this time. Let yourself smell it, and as you do, ponder your appreciation of Jesus. In what ways do you treasure him? And how do you express that? Judas, clearly uncomfortable with Mary's action, and perhaps that's because of his greed, perhaps it's because he is being shown how he does not treasure Jesus. Judas is critical, harsh, disturbing. Were you disturbed by his words in this story? As you hold your stone, notice any sense of your disturbing. Can you recognize your own critical and judgmental tendencies. Underneath them, is there something that you are treasuring that is causing that response? Judas helps bring something out of, that is significant in Mary's action and is picked up by Jesus' response. He says, this is a preparation for burial, suggesting that Mary's action 
is a much deeper and final treasuring of him than simply a gratitude for Lazarus. So in this final part, holding your stone and keeping the sense of the aroma in your consciousness, listen within yourself. Is there a deeper treasuring that is emerging from this story? A treasuring in you that it is drawing out. Take time now to talk to Jesus about what has emerged for you. Notice any response from him to what you share. Ask for his help, for you to treasure the most important things. O oh Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come unto thee. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Tomorrow is Tuesday in Holy Week, and our Gospel reading will be John chapter 12, verses 20 to 26. Here Jesus talks about his coming death as being like a seed falling to the ground. It cannot grow and produce more seeds unless it dies. The symbol that I suggest you find to go alongside your stone is a seed, perhaps a grain of wheat or rice. The psalm that can be read before listening to tomorrow's podcast is Psalm 55, verses 12 to 22. May God bless your Holy Week journey. <laughs>